hot and humid climate greets you as you enter Mwingi town. Plains, plateaus and grotesque baobab trees dot the horizon and with them tales of pain and survival. A few kilometers from the town lives Katheni Mulyungi. Katheni was beaten by a snake more than 10 years ago but the scars remain raw. She was rushed to the Mwingi General Hospital, but three weeks later she had not received any care. The hospital had no medicine. Transferred to Embu, her arm was eventually amputated. KWS compensated her, paying her 15,000 shillings, but it was no consolation to her medical bills, which had accumulated to 100,000 shillings. In Gutani, another part of Mwingi, Lena Musioka, a widow, is still paying her hospital bills. Her two daughters were beaten by an Egyptian cobra in 1996. She even sold a parcel of land to offset the bill, but it was not enough. <laughs> It is an incident she could easily have prevented. The plush greenery around me is a clear indication that the area has had a fairly good rainfall. And it is a blessing in so many ways as you can see, yet it is a curse as well. It is at such times when snake attacks are most common. As the snakes run away from the cold forest into the warm areas inhabited by humans, confrontations have become common. The cases of snake bites in Wingi are many, and every person has a different tale to tell. As the sun sets over the rocky horizon, perhaps what each of the victims hopes for is better health care to handle confrontations with snakes that are inevitable. Andrew Ocheng, live at 9.